This is a NEMA 17 stepper motor, and there are three of them that we use in the robot. Um, and there's four leads that drive two different coils on the motor, and it looks like something like this, A, B, C, and D. Now, to find out which color is which, you can just look at the spec sheet, and you'll see that black and green belong to one coil, and red and blue belong to the second coil. Uh, another way is just to take a multimeter and check the continuity. You'll see a short circuit between black and green and, uh, and between red and blue. And that's how you know which is, you know, which belongs to which coil. Now when you connect the motor to the, to the circuit board, you should know that on these pins it goes in order A, B, C, D. So you just want to make sure that the two top ones go to one coil and the two bottom ones go to the other coil. In this video we want to connect a 4 pin connector to the stepper motor so that we can connect it to the, um, the motor controller board. First we want to snip off a connector And we want to twist this wire. We want to twist the wire. Have about uh, five millimeters of wire. Place it in, and then we crimp it. Uh, you just use a long nose plier here, like so. Now, to make sure that this connection is not going anywhere, uh, I'm going to add a little bit of solder. Next, we want to insert the cable or the wires into the into the connector. This is the end that goes into the the PC board. So we slide this in. Now the connector has a little notch on the back. You can see that, and the notch goes on the side where you see these large rectangular openings, and that's where it locks in. So we want to put it in black, green, red, blue. So I'm going to slide this in here, like that, until it clicks. Black, green, and then red, and blue. And so this motor is ready to be connected to the PC board. Now the robot uses three NEMA 17 stepper motors, two of which you can put the connector directly onto the motor, but for the third it's not quite long enough so we need to have add this small piece of wire uh, between the connector and the motor. And this is how we do it. First you want to take a, a, a knife or something to strip the wire. So we have four conductors in here, and we will strip the conductors with a wire stripper. So the colors almost match one of the motors. It's black, green, red, and instead of blue we have yellow. So we'll connect the blue to blue uh, connector of the motor to the yellow on one side. So let's strip the other side as well. So we have two sides stripped. So now we want to connect uh, this motor to the short piece of wire. And I'm going to just match up the colors basically. So we'll twist the black with the black and the red with the red, green with the green, and the blue from the motor to the yellow wire. 
And then I'm going to apply some solder here and then insulate it with electrical tape. There we go, so everything's all secure. Now I'm going to use some electrical tape to tidy this up and to make sure that the different wires don't touch each other. So now one end of the, the short cable is connected to the NEMA 17 stepper motor. And then this side, we need to connect to the connector, like we did before. Black, green, red, and yellow.